Carolina what's up whoa there's a lot that's what's up really um I was I was doing my research on this and there's apparently there's so many layers to pull back from this from this subject the the teacher who called in the resource officer first of all was a, a substitute teacher so that just lets you know that maybe substitute teachers don't know how to handle certain situations so they're just quick to call to call um another official but in my in my opinion he should have just called the the principal or the vice principal he shouldn't have taken okay, it all I'm the way to, to the, the resource uh, officer hand. like the officer was wrong and but thing that's most shocked me was that uh the kids just stood there like it was normal or maybe they were just too scared and they didn't want to stand up but they, they, were, they was probably. like this happens all the time the way they was just sitting there chilling or they was like i'm glad it's not me this time like that's the way they was hitting <laughs> well i actually didn't watch the video i'm kind of fed up with the whole they're supposed to protect and serve and mm -hmm. i don't understand it so i haven't watched any of the videos <laughs> It's your boy the pre back with the drop I'm here with Swilly Vanilla of Chocolate and Vanilla Swirl. Thank you. And I'm Brittany. About to do scene this. Y'all ready? Here we go. First song. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Your answer. I'm going with what she said. But do you know? Are you just agreeing with what she I'm said? I'm agreeing with what she said. <laughs> this is crazy because I know the song, but I do not remember the words. Come on, come on, you yeah. got it. Lift every voice and sing to every harmony. Mm, I don't know the rest. <laughs> yeah, that's not even right. That's not? No. Lift every voice <laughs> and sing <laughs> to <laughs> earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let us watch out high as the rolling sea. Woo! Clap more, clap more, clap more, clap more. No matter what you do, and I, and I hope you can understand every word I say is true. And I hope you understand me oh, and yeah. every word I say is yeah, true. Close enough. What I say is true. Okay, yeah, whatever. You going, you going with her? I'm going with Bertain. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going. I don't know the words to that one either. What's the next one? I don't know. Like, I need the beat to keep going with the music. You know how I, 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 I feel. See? Come on, let me hear you sing song. You know I, 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 I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can't sing. <laughs> and I love you. All right, go ahead, go on. Go ahead, me. All right, let me know when you finish. I'm done now. Cash money records taking over for the nine nine. Nine three thousand. When you working with me? Yeah. that ass up. Cash money taking over from the back. That ass up. I don't know the the middle part for that. You don't know the middle part. I when just the beat drop. <laughs> they about to go crazy. Y'all don't, okay. don't have a clue what he says there? No, I really Cash don't. All I care is about the beat Cash dropping. Money. So give me the line. Cash money. 
is it cash money records with that nine nine and that two thousand or something like that? For the nine nine six and girl, you working with some bad man, bad man, man, you working with some bad man, bad man. You know what's so funny? Both of y'all said you said it completely wrong, <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. Bet. <clears throat> Careers versus family. This topic came up because it was a recent study about women freezing their eggs because they were more career driven. What's up? I think it's a it's a smart idea. You if you don't want to have kids right now, if you don't want to run into the risk of having kids and you can afford, because I was reading online like it's the average is fifteen thousand dollars to get this procedure done. So if you can afford that, it's I mean if you want to do that, that's up to you. I think it's a smart move. I wouldn't have anything against it. Yeah, that's that's my plan right now. Like I'm not <clears> having <throat> no kids until you know I get that car I want, till I get that house I want, and then I might be able to afford a kid or two. Until then, right. I need that Bugatti, I need my front and the trunk. You see what I'm saying? Or my trunk in the front. I need my trunk in the front. You know what I'm saying? I well, need that trunk in the front. My thoughts, uh, first of all, you need to, we all took sex ed, let's be realistic. You know, you know how to, you know, not have uh, conceive a child. But I don't think I should hold off on having a family. I think I could have both. So I disagree. <laughs> Hi, welcome to another segment of Smithite Spotlight. Today I have a member of Styro Alpha, which is the first natural, national visual and performing arts honor society. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And this is the first time actually that, that we have something like this at Smith. So please introduce yourself and please tell us what Styro Alpha is. Hello, my name is Suleyma Castrejon and I am a senior here at JCSU within the VPA program. Mm -hmm. Um, Cyro Alpha is a National Honor Society that incorporates the entire discipline of the arts. So it's not just visual art, but also performance art. Mm -hmm. So theater, music, dance. Um, and it provides a space for artists to be both creative, but also intellectual thinkers. Oh, wow. So, Sulaima, please tell me, what it, tell us, what is the importance of having a chapter, because this is the first time we have a chapter like this at Smith. What is the importance of having a chapter like this at Smith? Well, it's important because we are making history and we're paving the way. And it, al it is also very important because it is at an HBCU promoting um, artists of color, which is always um very important to us here. What are the members hoping to get out of being a part of an, of an honor society like this? Well, you know, it's mostly for me, mm -hmm. personally speaking, it's about finding a family, a support mm -hmm. system, um, finding fellow artists who are, aren't just creative, but also intellectual thinkers. And it's a support system mostly because we are a small community. Mm -hmm. Our program is relatively small and we all know each other and we all encourage each other and um and push each other to continue to grow as artists mm -hmm. so if anyone because i there's a process you know you can't just say oh i want to join what are the requirements for to be a part of cyro alpha well um the requirements are you have to have a certain gpa and you also have to go through the um vpa orientation, right. which is a week-long orientation, and we do various activities, like team-building activities, community service, and also we get to learn about the different art disciplines here at JCSU. Okay. Well, I want to thank you so much, Lema, for the time that you gave us today for this interview. It's really exciting to have something like this at Smith, and I'll just, we'll, we'll look forward to seeing good things from Cyro Alpha. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. See you next time on the Smithite Spotlight. All right, bet. I was recently conversing with a guy. He felt like this girl was really pretty. She had nice hair, nice eyes. But the next thing he said out of his mouth was she must be mixed. Mm. What's up? I, it's not appropriate to assume. <clears throat> you just can never assume based on pretty eyes, based on pretty hair. There are so many girls out here who are wearing fake contacts, who are wearing wigs, True. who are wearing extensions. Fake like, eyebrows, get your life together. Eyebrows, oh, I don't know about eyebrows. eyebrows. Oh, it's right. What's your thoughts? What's yeah. up? You can't assume. Uh, my thoughts is, uh, you know, he just not, I don't know, he probably never met her. The lady was black? Purely. 
he probably just never met the right black person. I know my black <laughs> you know, they, man, they are beautiful. I love a black woman, and uh, yeah, I don't know. He must have not just ran into the right one or something. I don't know. I don't know. Cause they don't get no better than no black woman. I'm telling you right now. Well, I was offended completely. Like, what do you mean she has to be mixed? To My say. black isn't that beautiful. I don't understand. I was so confused. But don't worry, I kindly educated him on what it means to be a black woman. Let's do that. Boom. Yeah. 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 Yeah.